You know who intrigues me a little bit right now? Oh. Especially if he falls to the second round is Matt Corral. Athletic, could throw. Yeah, it seems like he's got a good arm. He's pretty yeah. pinpoint accurate from the stuff I've been watching. I- I'm just upset with you if, if that's okay. Why? Because you made my job so difficult as it pertains to watching these quarterbacks because during the season, you were team Kenny Pickett and yeah. every other quarterback sucked. Right. So my mindset before I watched any other quarterback was – Kenny Pick is the best. Every other quarterback sucked. So it was so hard for me to like unthink that while I was watching the tape. So anything that they. Kenny Pick is number one on your rankings. (laughs) I mean, it would have, you know, sit back and relax a little bit. But when I first started watching the tape on these guys, anything that they did bad, it was like, like, told you. Of course this dude sucks. What what you mean he missed that? Of course he missed that read. You know why? He ain't Kenny Pickett. You know why? Because Deke told me all year Kenny Pickett was just this, 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 this. And that guy, uh-uh, nope, 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 nope. And look at this game and watch this tape and look at these numbers. And that's why he's for Heisman. And yeah, man, I just wanted to let you know, like, you really made it difficult for me. I'm past that now. And that's why I'm able to talk about it to you. But about a month or two ago, I was really upset with you. Like, bro, I cannot stand the fact that when I watch these guys, I'm always thinking negative. I'm looking for the negative. So Solely because Deke said these guys suck and Kenny Pickett is the best prospect because Kenny Pickett should have won the Heisman. That's what you kept telling me. And I fed, I fed into it, Deke. I was like, yep, you are right. Yep, I don't care. What, oh, he missed that, though? I don't care. Nope, that ain't nope, nope, nope. That ain't no drop by the, that's a drop by the receiver. That ball went behind. Nope, nope, nope. That, that's on him. He should have made it better, though. He should have took some, took take a little off of it there. How about you do that? I blame you for that, man. Uh, he's intriguing. He's yeah. a little taller than I thought, too. I think yeah. he measured in it like... Almost six two. Yeah, and I was like, "Wait, what are some of the other quarterbacks around mm-hmm. the league? What is their height? Some of the the top guys? Aaron Rodgers, yeah, secretly six two. Yeah, I thought he was like six five. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Brady's tall like that. Like but... Mahomes is what six two, six uh-huh. three two. So yeah. Corral, I mean, he's kind of fitting in with mm-hmm. that new prototype here with the. I legs. was surprised he's more athletic than I thought. Like when I first thought of Matt, I didn't think of him as like as mobile as he was. But... I thought the opposite. I thought he was. Just mobile college quarterback didn't really have an arm like that. He's got a really nice yeah, arm. Yeah, see, though. I thought he, could, I always thought he could throw, and I, maybe because I was watching the Alabama game, and I was like, you know, yeah, man, slinging that rock. But it was early in the year, and that's probably why for me, I was like, all right, I think he's more of a passer than this like mobile dude. But then I watched him, I'm like, oh no, he actually can run a little bit more than I thought. He intrigues yeah. me in the second round. I still don't feel mm-hmm. amazing about him in the first. Yeah, I, I guess that I'm cool. Second round or even a third, if if. If it's Desmond no Ritter, I, yeah, I don't even I think agree. he's gonna last to us in the second. Yeah, and that's the thing too. I think Desmond, Sam Howell, and uh, Karav, you're gonna get one of those. You're gonna have to go up in the second round. We can't wait till 52 to get those guys. Well, and that's the thing. Whenever you mentioned you'd be okay even taking a dude in the third, is the only guy in the third literally Carson Strong? Because I that's, think that's the tier. Yes. You have the five or six that yeah. are first. Second, and the reason and for Carson, Carson Strong because he third. has the injury because he's coming off of the knee. And then after and he, the, he was pretty bad in the senior bowl too. To an extent, sure. Yeah. But as a whole, when you look at his body of work last season, it was good. And my whole thing is it's like after him, that's when you wait until you're, you know, at the end of the draft where you're talking to EJ Perry's. Um, Zappy. Zappy. Uh, that's South Dakota State, dude. Was it a uh, 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 a Dukung. And yeah. then even um I keep hearing about the cat from uh from Alabama AM, uh Akil Glass. He's another quarterback I've seen as well, like in that undrafted or seventh round range, so. Yep. Yeah, I just thought Corral looked like he was like five ten or five eleven. Mm-hmm. That's why I was like, hey, this is just a college yeah. quarterback. Nah, six one. Mm-hmm. He's got a good arm. A little mobile. I saw some of those RPOs he was doing down in Ole Miss. Nah, nah, man. He got, he got he got a little wiggle on him, man. Yeah, yeah. hit the slant, pretty pinpoint mm-hmm. accurate. So I'm kind of intrigued by him. I probably have him three on my board out okay. of the quarterbacks. Malik, Kenny, then him. See, for me, I'm stuck between him and Desmond. 